And now, New Jersey Today Managing Editor, Mike Schneider. The Port Authority of New York and New Jersey has four bridges. And if you're 80 years old, they are all older than you. That's right, the Port Authority has not opened a new span since the George Washington Bridge back in 1931. But this is about to change. And I asked one of this region's most respected transportation executives, Martin Robbins, what we're going to be getting for our $2.8 billion and why it took so long. The, the one that sticks out in terms of long-term languishing project is the Guthels Bridge project. It's, it's a very meritorious project. Uh, the bridge is definitely deficient by today's standards. It, it, two narrow lanes in each direction, heavy truck traffic. Uh, it is kind of a scary experience. So it's got to go. Can't be repaired. It shouldn't be well, updated. Well, they've looked at a million yeah. different uh, uh, combinations and possibilities with the bridge. Uh, there was one idea to build a second bridge and turn the existing mm -hmm. structure into one way. One way. Yeah, right. But over the years, uh, that was rejected. I guess the bridge had... Uh, a number of deficiencies uh, in its structure and whatever, and the decision was made to build a whole new bridge. The Bayonne Bridge is a, a much more modern problem. They've got super tankers going through the Panama Canal that need to get into the port up here. They can't fit under yeah. the Bayonne Bridge the way it is right, right. now, so they got to lift it up, as it were. That's a dramatically different problem. The Guthels Bridge is a, an issue for motorists. Uh, motorists have a, it's a scary, as I said, a scary yeah. experience going across that bridge. I have used it many, many times in my life and I don't look forward to, <laughs> to using it again uh, until it's replaced. Uh, the Bayonne Bridge uh, is actually a relatively light, lightly used bridge as opposed to the Guthels Bridge, which is much more heavily used. But the tankers, the new huge but, tankers can't get under it. But it is located in a critical point across Kilvan Cull. It stands between New York Harbor and the uh, Port uh, Newark and Port Elizabeth docks. And um, that is a really big problem. Container ships are being built larger and larger in, in, in world commerce, and they require a, a greater draft than the Bayonne Bridge can now provide. Adder Bridge Crossing. Adder Bridge Crossing is also an important bridge and heavily used. Uh, what the Port Authority is doing for it is of a much lesser scale, much more of a, as I understand it, it's a more routine type of, a, of an improvement, uh, putting a new deck on the bridge. The bridge is, is vital uh, for bringing people from southern Staten Island into New Jersey and vice versa. It's heavily used, not quite as much as the Guthels Bridge, but quite heavily used. But it, it's, it's needs, uh, you know, the, the passage of time, uh, conditions uh, d deteriorate, and the bridge needs attention. Will this, when all is said and done, simply provide motorists with a more comfortable crossing, or will it cut down on commute times? Will it make it an easier uh, region in which to drive? Well, I think that uh, certainly at the, uh, at the outer bridge crossing, it will make the, the, the trip across the bridge uh, easier in that the uh, ruts and potholes and other problems will be uh, sealed up and it will be a better smooth. Everybody enjoys driving over a smooth surface. Right. And so that would be a positive. The Guthels Bridge will really make the connection between uh, that part of central New Jersey and, and uh, Staten Island a much more appealing uh, uh, connection. Have they decided what kind of bridge they'll build there? Is it in the plans already? Uh, you know, I don't know the answer to that question. Mike. But it's not going to be—it's not going to look like the cantilever thing that's there right no, now. No, I'm sure it will have a different design. When all of this last question, when all of this is said and done, will it address the overarching uh, transportation problems and issues that that afflict us here in this region? It, well, uh, one of the reasons was that very few people could get excited about these bridges because they aren't center stage, and so they don't answer all the problems at all. Uh, but they, need, they, they were also neglected. The Bayonne Bridge, being a lightly used bridge, only got into the act, so to speak, because of this uh, commercial shipping problem. And that is important, and that can't be overlooked. It's very important that the Port Authority responded relatively quickly to deal with that issue, and Godspeed to that project. Because the first part of their name is the Port, port Authority. Port. Exactly. Martin uh, Robbins, always a pleasure. Thanks for coming in. Okay, very good.